Today we're going to be looking at how to simplify mixed fractions. To show this, we have a couple of examples that we're going to work through together here, so let's get started. As we can see, for question number one, we're being asked to simplify the mixed fraction of 5 and 6 ninths. Now, any time that you're being asked to simplify a mixed fraction, you're being asked to simplify the fractional part of the mixed fraction or you're being asked to rewrite the fraction in its lowest possible terms. To do this, we need to divide both the denominator and the numerator by the same common factor. So between six and nine, they share a common factor of three, so we're gonna divide both our denominator and our numerator by three in order to keep the fraction equivalent. So in our answer, our five is gonna remain the same because the value of our whole number hasn't changed, but the fractional part is going to be rewritten in smaller units. So 9 divided by 3 gives us 3, and 6 divided by 3 gives us 2. And now, since both 2 and 3 only share a common factor of 1, we're done. We've rewritten the fractional part of our mixed number in its lowest possible terms. So when we rewrite 5 and 6 ninths in its lowest possible terms, we get 5 and 2 thirds. Moving on to question number two, where we're being asked to simplify the mixed fraction of 4 and 45 70 fifths. So we're going to focus on the fraction part here because the whole number is not going to change, so we need to find a common factor between both 45 and 75. Well, a common factor between 75 and 45 is 15, so we're going to divide both our denominator and our numerator by 15 in order to simplify the fractional part of our mixed fraction. Well, we know the value of our whole number hasn't changed, it's still worth four, but then for the fractional part, for the denominator, 75 divided by 15 gives us five, and then for the numerator, 45 divided by 15 gives us three for four and three fifths. Now, since there's no common factor between three and five other than one, we're done. So when we simplify the mixed fraction of 4 and 45 70 fifths, we get the mixed fraction of 4 and 3 fifths. Now, there is another path for us to take to get to this same destination that I am going to show you here. So down below, we're going to rewrite our mixed fraction. So we had 4 and then we had 45 70 fifths. Now, this time, we're going to start out by dividing both the denominator and the numerator by the common factor of 5, because both 45 and 75 are multiples of 5. So, just like before, the value of the whole number hasn't changed, it's still remaining a 4. And then for the fractional part, well, when we divide 75 by 5, we're left with 15. And then for the numerator, when we divide 45 by 5, we get 9 for 4 and 9 fifteenths. Now, as I'm sure you've noticed, we're not quite done here because we can reduce this fraction even smaller. Well, both 15 and 9 just happen to have a common factor of 3, so we're going to divide both the denominator and the numerator by 3 in order to simplify this fraction even further. So our whole number hasn't changed, it's still worth 4, and then for the fractional part, well, when we divide 15 by 3, we're left with 5. And then for the numerator, when we divide 9 by 3, we're left with 3, giving us this same simplified mixed fraction of 4 and 3 fifths. So as we can see, there's a couple different pathways for us to get to the same answer. And it doesn't matter how many steps we take. The most important thing is that we keep simplifying the fraction until we get to the point where the only common factor between the denominator and the numerator is one. As long as you do this, you're gonna get the same answer regardless of if you take 10 steps or one step. So hopefully by now you understand how to simplify mixed fractions. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.